Hey everyone, Nick here, and since I had a lot of fun making my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience video, I thought maybe I'd do one for another uh, franchise that I'm really into, but I had a lot of trouble thinking of one, until Unfiltered Mango, that is a very weird username by the way, and you should really change it, suggested that I should do a video on Pokemon, so I thought that's a good idea, so I thought maybe I should do a video about my Pokemon experience. I don't know if I mentioned this, but there are links in the description to all of my previous Pokemon videos in case you missed any of them. So, how did I get introduced to Pokemon? Well, I'm not... I'm not technically a 90s kid! So, I wasn't around when Pokemon first came out in the US. I was born in 99, remember. So I got introduced to Pokemon during Generation 4, which to those of you Pokemon fans, is during the games Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I got introduced to the games through the TV show, to be more specific, the Diamond and Pearl seasons of the anime. I have such fond memories of waking up on Saturday mornings, turning on Cartoon Network, and watching Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Just seeing Ash, Dawn, and Brock traveling through Sinnoh, going on adventures, it was just amazing. And it made me want to become a Pokemon trainer. And keep in mind that Diamond and Pearl was the was when Ash got a newer voice actress. Yes, Ash is voiced by a girl. I'll give like the three of you a minute to pick your jaws up off the floor. Okay, you done? Okay. And so I didn't grow up with Veronica Taylor as a voice actress. I grew up with the newer voice actress. I forget her name. Actually, I don't know her name. <laughs> And I will admit, I have a bit, I had a bit of a crush on Dawn at the time. And being a Pokemon fan got so out of control that in the fifth grade, I actually had two friends whose names were Ash and Brock. I know, so weird, right? In fact, I remember on Labor Day 2000-something, Cartoon Network aired a marathon of Diamond and Pearl episodes, and they ended it with the Cartoon Network premiere of Rise of Dark Rai. And uh, why do I remember that in particular? I don't know. And to this day, Rise of Darkrai is my favorite Pokemon movie. I actually distinctly remember, this is uh, one more Pokemon memory that I forgot to mention. Uh, I just think I remember when I was a kid, I think I was still in elementary school, I discovered a old Nintendo 64 that we had in our basement. And, I, and there were a bunch of Nintendo 64 games with it. And one of those games was Pokemon Snap, which apparently my older brother played all the frickin' time as a kid, and... And when I was playing it, I had a little bit of fun. And then when Black and White came out, I was in 5th or 6th grade, I can't remember. And... And I was around the age where it was acceptable to still be into Pokemon, and, you know, it was... And I... I actually didn't like Black and White that much as I like Diamond and Pearl because I have so much nostalgia for it. But Unova, the region that Black and White takes place in, is my favorite region by far because it's based off of the good old country of America. And then when X and Y came out, I was in middle school, so I was right around the same age where I was embarrassed to be a fan of, a, of something intended for kids. And yeah, I was really ashamed I was a fan of Pokemon, so... That's when I immediately phased out of Pokemon, because I thought I was too old for it. Then came my freshman year of high school, and this is where I became the Toku nerd that I am today, as you might have guessed. And then the summer between my junior and senior year of high school, uh, then Pokemon Go came out, and it reintroduced me to the franchise as a whole, as you guys, as a lot of you guys have too. Like, Pokemon Go reintroduce you to the franchise. And I had a lot of fun because it felt like I was really a Pokemon trainer, but then I gave it up after, like, a month. And by coincidence, uh, Pokemon Go reintroduced me to the franchise, and I became a massive Pokemon fan. And 2016, the year that Pokemon Go came out, was the same year that Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. And, yeah, I was reintroduced to the franchise as a whole, and now I'm a Pokemon fan. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my favorites from Pokemon, like my favorite uh, generation, favorite region, favorite Pokemon, favorite favorite stuff to do with the anime, you know, stuff like that. My favorite generation of Pokemon, ironically, is Generation 6, even though I was out of Pokemon for a while, but, but Generation 6 is when, like, the world transitioned into 3D, and Mega Evolutions got introduced, so that was really cool. My favorite region, like I said, Unova, because it's based off of the good old U.S. of A. 
and my favorite Pokemon from Unova is no doubt Breviary, because it's based off of a bald eagle. America. I'm weird. Favorite Pokemon? Well, that's tough to decide, so I'm just going to list off my favorite Pokemon from each generation. Gen 1? Gotta go with Gyarados. Gen 2, Giraffe Rig, because giraffes are my favorite animal. Gen 3, Tropius, because uh, he has really long necks, and as you may have guessed from giraffes being my favorite animal, I really like creatures with long necks. Gen 4, gotta go with Torterra. Gen 5, Breviary, as I said, and Gen 6, Tyrantrum, because you don't see very many uh, uh, dinosaur-themed Pokemon these days. And as for Gen 7, I gotta go with Incineroar, because I don't really have that many favorites when it comes to Gen 7. So I gotta go with the starter I chose for Gen 7. Character from any season of the anime, Ash, every season. You know, a lot of hardcore Pokemon fans like to, like, they absolutely hate Ash because he's been 10 years old and he never becomes a Pokemon Master, but who cares? I like him. As my favorite Ash traveling companion, I think I'll have to go with Brock because I have the most emotional connection to Brock. The starter that I chose from each generation, well, I've already made a video about that, but in case you missed the video, Gen 1, Bulbasaur, Gen 2, Totodile, Gen 3, yes, I like Mudkips. Gen 4, Turtwig, because he was my uh, starter in Gen 4, and as I said, I got introduced to the franchise around Gen 4. Gen 5, to Pig. Gen 6, Froakie, obvious choice, and Gen 7, Litten, as I mentioned. My favorite Pokemon movie, no doubt, Rise of Darkrai. Although... Kieran vs. the Swords of Justice is a really, really, really close second. And apparently I looked it up, it's it's not the same voice actor voicing Kieran, but he sounds so much like the English voice actor for Yuya in Arc 5. And trust me, once you watch this movie and you watch Arc 5, the voice actors just sound so similar. And I must have forgotten to mention this while I was filming this. As a kid, I played the trading card game like any other kid that was into Pokemon. But unfortunately, I was never able to find anyone who also played the Pokemon trading card game, so I was kind of sad. And uh, and in case you're wondering, to those of you who play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you're expecting the Pokemon card game to be the same, well, well, I'm not sure if it works like this, but in Yu-Gi-Oh! you have a starter deck, and then you build up from there by opening booster packs and getting structure decks. But in Pokemon, I'm not sure if it works like this, but I don't think there is a starter deck in Pokemon, but to those of you who play the trading card game, please let me know. Uh, but in Pokemon, I don't know if any of you guys know about this, but but as a kid when I played the card game, I actually just bought a bunch of random booster packs and then opened them up and then built my deck from there, which is actually kind of weird when you think about it. I think that'll do it for uh, this episode, I mean for this video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, as always, until next time, see ya.